Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the Nika Pink Friday sale haul. The sale dates are 24th until the 28th of November and there are some incredible deals and offers which I'm very excited about, all of which will be mentioned in the description box. So don't forget to check it out. So for the very first time, Nika sent me their Pink Friday box, which is actually a stunning boom box with some great contents inside. There's a ton of skincare, hair care, makeup and even body care products products close to about 40 products that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video some very different and interesting products uh, so let me know in the comment section in case you want me to review anything so without further ado let's get this party started so first let me show you the box itself it is designed like a boom box it's a pretty huge box and uh, very very colorful pink for the right reasons I'm really glad that this is not plastic it is actually reusable I can store stuff in it I can actually even make a pink corner in my studio uh, well we'll see about that if I do make I will post pictures but uh, yeah this is something really nice and handy so now let's dive in and see uh, what all stuff was there in the box uh, we're gonna dive in and see the makeup products first all right, so I placed the box behind me so that you can enjoy it during the video. The makeup products that I want to show you, the first one I'm wearing on my lips is the Smashbox Always On Mini Matte Duo. So you get two of Smashbox um, liquid lipsticks. These are matte lipsticks, of course, and they are super duper comfortable. I have two shades uh, here. Uh, so this is the Big Spender and Stepping Out. Stepping Out is the one that I'm wearing. It's a beautiful brown nude. And the other one is uh, a pink shade. It's uh, sort of a pink nude color. Uh, let me swatch the other one, the nude shade, of course, I'm wearing on my lips. I really like the applicator of uh, the Smashbox uh, lipsticks as well because uh, they are shaped in a way that you can actually line your lips and then go in and uh, fill in your lips as well. That's the shade right here. Uh, it's uh, a little bit pink, a mauve kind of a color, beautiful color nonetheless. Uh, definitely something that I don't own or so I think. Now moving on to uh, something else. So I have the K-Beauty 24-hour lasting transfer proof, smudge proof, um, coal basically this is their kajal this is in the shade spade and uh, that's how it looks like i have used some of the k-beauty products and uh, i'm mostly never disappointed with their products so i'm really looking forward to try this one out as well then moving forward uh, something that i've used and loved quite a lot i own this already is the bite size eyeshadow palette from elf this is in the shade very bad and you have a berry shade here you have two pressed glitters and you also have a beautiful light new transition color this is really a wonderful eyeshadow palette to get your hands on uh, then moving on i have uh, again from swiss beauty i've tried this in a different shade it is their liquid eyeshadow this is the golden color i have used the rose gold color looks stunning stays on for a while affordable and if you do get a discount on this definitely pick this one up Moving on, a uh, couple of more lipsticks that I see in front of me and a few of these I have used. The Maybelline uh, lipstick, the liquid lipsticks, this one I have used in many, many shades. These are definitely um, a little bit of a different formula, but they stay on for a very long time. They can get a little uh, hard on the lips in the sense they can make your lips feel a little bit too dry. But if you wear a good uh, lip mask or a good lip balm underneath, you can go on with these for an entire day. So make sure that your lips are scrubbed as well. Two other lipsticks that I have here from Faces Canada. I have the shade number 11. Again, this looks like a very uh, nude kind of a color, something that I'm very much looking forward to try out. Yes, this is uh, a little bit of a pink nude. I've swatched it for you, so let me show it to you anyway. That's how the color looks like. It's this one right here. It's a very soft pink, uh, more towards a nude shade. Then I have a red shade from the brand Color Bar. Uh, this is also their matte lipstick. Color Bar is also running on a few discounts. Again, the doe foot applicator is pretty similar to that of Smashbox. Let me swatch this for you. Good Lord, this is a beautiful red, guys. It's a very popping red. If you're looking for a good party red or a red for the wedding season, this is something you can definitely try then moving on what I have here uh, again sticking to the lipsticks and I'm really glad that I've received more and more lipsticks because you guys know I'm a sucker for good lipsticks uh, this is from Rene and uh, this is fab five nude so you have five nude shades and these are all uh, in the bullet format 
So uh, it's literally like, uh, you know, those art and craft things we used to get when we were kids. I think you still get them uh, more like crayons, but this actually is great quality. And uh, so I'm going to swatch the topmost shade, which is actually my favorite shade. That's why I kept it on top. This is pretty similar uh, to one of the shades that I already own. Um, I think it's uh, pretty similar to the shade Gossip from K-Beauty. And the quality in here is also amazing. It's this shade right here. There are five shades in total. All of the shades are nude. So if you are someone like me who likes nude lipsticks, you can definitely go in for this. Moving on, I have a blush in front of me and this is Coral Climax. This is from the brand Sugar Cosmetics. This is a very, very popping shade. I did try it the other day and it did look really nice. It's popping for sure, but it looks very, very beautiful. So if you like nice, bright coral um, blushes, then this is the one for you. Then moving on, I have this from MAC. This is the Shreya Jane and MAC uh, collaboration. And there is a makeup fixing spray from MAC, which is Prep and Prime. And the lipstick that you get here is Meher. She looks stunning, by the way, in this picture. And I definitely think this is a perfect duo because uh, I have the products out this is one of my favorite nude lipsticks because uh, this looks absolutely stunning it's the perfect nude i would say to up till medium skin tones and uh, even if you're a little bit deeper for sure if you're too deep then this may not be the perfect nude for you it may wash you out but if you are medium skin tone you are likely to really love this color and then of course prep and prime is one of my most favorite uh, setting sprays needless to say i've spoken about this so many times in my videos Moving on, I have two eyeshadow palettes in front of me. The first one is the Lacme Absolute Infinity Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the color Midnight Magic. You get these in a couple of different ones. I have one or two. The last product in the makeup section is also an eyeshadow palette. Firstly, I love the packaging. This is from Makeup Revolution. You may have seen me wear leopard print, animal print in general quite a lot because I love, I gravitate towards animal print quite a lot the zebra print in here is absolutely stunning and beautiful overall the packaging is always from makeup revolution quite sturdy this is the integrity wild animal palette and you get some beautiful shades here if you are into colorful eye looks or if you are looking to get into it this is i would say the perfect uh, starter palette you have glitters you have different um, colors in here you have blues and greens and reds and uh, all sorts of shades you even get pinks in here if you look for a good colorful eyeshadow palette for the wedding season you can definitely try this moving on i'm going to be talking about the skincare hair care and body care products that i have in front of me and they are in no particular order of preference i'm just going to pick up whatever comes in my hand the first product that i see in front of me is the nika skin potion this is the glow boosting facial oil i've never used nika facial oils and i'm really looking forward to try this especially in the winter season uh, I am looking for good facial oils because I am someone who uses facial oils at night. Then I have the L'Oreal Paris Revital Lift 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid. I of course have used this product and recommended this to you in my last recommendations video. There's another one coming up, sit tight. And then I have uh, a body lotion. This is from Wow. I've never tried this. This is the Coconut Milk and Argan Oil Body Lotion. I'm really glad that there are different kind of products that were sent to me so that I can try out different ones of course. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section in case you want me to try and review any of these products. Then moving on, I have something that I wanted to purchase and try for myself is the Rice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream from the brand Face Shop. Because of the winter season approaching, anything with ceramides is great in my opinion. And uh, this is something I was anyway eyeing on and here we have it. Um, then I have the Lacme Peach Milk Soft Cream. This is the 24 hour moisture lock. Never tried this, but I know for sure that this is a very affordable product. Yes, it's for 105 rupees and you get a good grammage, 65 grams of product. Uh, moving on, I have something from Claire's, which I have used, loved and recommended. This is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. Now, this is a very nourishing, hydrating mask. Of course, this has vitamin E in it. If you are... Uh, oily and combination skin this can be a perfect moisturizer for you in both summers and winters combination skin can really enjoy using this in summer specifically as well but for oily skin if you're looking for something tad bit more nourishing than your regular gel based uh, moisturizers you can definitely go in uh, with this unless you have a acne prone skin skip it but otherwise you can uh, go in with this one 
Uh, another makeup product that I saw and left out is the Nykaa uh, Wake Up Makeup. This is their bullet lipstick. I've tried this. It's a great, beautiful color. That's why I'm not opening this. I already have this. Okay, the next product is something that a lot of you ask for a review of and um, I haven't ever purchased their products and neither have I reviewed them on my channel. This is the Minimalist Transparent Skincare Niacinamide 10% Plus Zinc. Now, uh, although I haven't been following the Minimalist uh, lately, but uh, very recently I kind of went to the page, saw the library as to what all products have they added. And I was glad to see that there are some original formulations that are coming up with the brand, which is great. So this is a product that I received uh, from Nykaa in PR. So I'm going to be trying this in case you want me to try any specific products from Minimalist and you want me to review them because a lot of you ask uh, for a review on the Minimalist products. Let me know what those specific products are. I can try and uh, try those products out on myself and maybe even review them. Moving on, I have from Lotus Herbals, this is the Youth RX. This is uh, an anti-aging transforming cream, has an SPF of 25. Um, again, this is something I have not tried. Uh, let me know if you want me to try this. I also do have a couple of products uh, which are from Biotic. Actually, in fact, only one. This is the Biotic Advance Vitamin C Dark Spot Solution. Okay, I did not know this product existed, so now I do. And uh, again, this is a vitamin C product. Uh, I usually gravitate towards vitamin C products quite a lot, so I'm looking forward to try this one out also maybe once I'm finished with the products that I have been trying out and want to review for you guys. A product that I've already used uh, and uh, spoken about is the Plum Vitamin C Serum 15%. This is the 20 ml. I have the 30 ml and I've recommended that product to you. This is definitely a great pick if you find it on good discounts. It's anyway a very well-priced vitamin C and an effective one at that, but if you do find it on discount, do pick up. Moving on, I have from Dot & Key the vitamin C and E moisturizer. I then have the Nivea Naturally Good uh, deodorant. Um, I have used the Nivea spray deodorants, but not this one. So can definitely try this. I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Serum. This is something that uh, did attract me when I opened the box. Um, and I think I am going to be gravitating towards this. I will be trying this out and probably even reviewing it for you guys. Then I have the Forest Essentials Delicate Facial Cle uh, Cleanser. This is Kashmiri Saffron and Neem. I have used this in the past as well. Great product. Moving on from Kama Ayurveda, I have the Kumkumadi Clarifying and Brightening Cleansing Oil. Um, again, let's open this and see how this actually looks like from within. It comes in a pretty similar packaging than how they have their rose water. Uh, definitely an interesting product and something that I can, uh, you know, try out for you guys because I love their rose water for sure. Uh, another product that I've tried is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have this in full size and I have tried this product out as well. Few of the products that I already own again and uh, recommended also I have in front of me the Simple Refreshing Facial Wash. I'm glad I received another tube because I run out of this very easily. A great, great cleanser in my opinion and definitely something which uh, a lot of different skin types can use if you're sensitive skin condition acne prone you can try this product out fragrance free of course um, i have from the brand bath and body works a body product this is the japanese cherry blossom i already have been using this this is a body mist a little bit strong at that but if you like a strong body mist then this is something for you so body mists don't last for a very long time like for the entire day but if you uh, come out of a shower and then you spray your body with some body mist then you know it kind of lingers on for a fairly long time uh, I like using one uh, after bath, so Bath & Body Works have some great options to choose from. And then I have another body product from M Caffeine, and this is their body lotion. I guess it comes in like a coffee mug, and I'm going to twist open. Oops, sorry. So it has uh, uh, an opening on the top, and then like where you can sip your coffee from is where you can pour the body lotion. From. Of course, this smells quite like um, coffee and a little bit chocolatey as well. The perfume in there is quite strong. The next product is from Nykaa. It's the Wanderlust Japanese Cherry Blossom Shower Gel. I have used their Almond California range and I've used the shower gel. I've used the body lotion and the body butter. I really like that range. Uh, the body lotion and the body butter is really nice and nourishing. Even the shower gel is great. The fragrance of this one is quite nice as well. 
I shouldn't be twisting open the, the top like that of the bottle. But anyway, if we are going to uh, open the seal and use this, it's quite nice. It smells very nice. Definitely of cherry blossoms for sure. Uh, last two skincare products are two sheet masks that I have here. Nika Skin Secrets. Unmasked Gold Revitalize Youthful Mask. And then the other one I have is from Tony Moly. This is I'm Lemon Sheet Mask. And uh, last two products are two hair care products, uh, which is the Vela Elements Renewing Shampoo. This is a 91% natural origin ingredients. It's uh, sulfate-free shampoo, silicon-free as well. Okay, this looks like a good product. Definitely trying uh, out this one and let me know if you want me to review this. And the last product that I have is from Skoshoff. This is their BC Bonacure uh, Peptide Repair Rescue Seal ends for damaged ends basically so uh the rough ends the damaged ends is where you use this cream i suppose uh, i've never used a product like this except conditioners and masks so this is definitely a product that i can try and review for you guys so guys with that it's a wrap i really hope that you enjoyed watching this haul video and were able to pick out some products that you can pick up from the nika's pink friday sale if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell and until i see you next guys thank you so much for watching Love you all. Bye-bye.